Welcome to this video dealing with awesome numbers and in particular prime numbers related mainly to those students at the end of primary beginning of secondary it will hopefully give a, a brief introduction to how to find and more specifically what a prime number is. Wow so what is a prime number? Well to help you discover we're going to use something called the sieve of Erasthenes and who was Erasthenes? Well he's the dude in the rather interesting photo uh, or rather picture maybe they could have chosen something slightly better I'm not so sure he'd want to be remembered for being bald, but we'll maybe move off of that at the moment. And if you read the information very kindly provided by Wikipedia, you know, he was a pretty intelligent guy, geographer, poet, astronomer, or astronomer even, music theorist, mathematician, and became the chief librarian at the Library of Alexandra. Wow! So while he had all of this thinking time, he came up with a fascinating idea. Look at the grid I've just put below with the numbers from 1 to 100. What he said was, well this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at what happens if I cover over numbers that are multiples. So he looked for example at the two times table, he says what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover over those numbers in the two times table but not include 2 and see what happens. So 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and actually, so he went on. Now, I'm not going to wipe you watch or while the colour in all these numbers. I'll fast forward and see you back here in a second. And then he said, right, well, okay, we've done that with the two times table. Let's look and see what happens if I do the three times table, but not include three. So let's look at all the multiples of three. Again, he started colouring in, so there was nines in the three times table. 15 is in my 3 times table, 21 is in my 3 times table, 27 is in my 3 times table, and again, off he went, looking at all the numbers that were in the 3 times table. Again, I'll carry on colouring in, and I'll see you back here in a short while. Yep, so then he said, well, 4 times table has already been done, pretty much all covered over, and so what about the 5 times table? Yep, exactly the same thing happened. He covered over all the numbers that were in the 5 times table, but not 5. 6 times table has already been done because they're in the 3 times table. What about the 7 times table? Well, yep, 7 times table. Let's look to see what's in the 7 times table. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. So covered over the 49. And so he went on again, covering through the seven times table, covering over those numbers that were in them, but not the actual number seven. And then actually he noticed something quite interesting because if you look at what is now left uncovered, well, let's talk about one of those numbers first. I'm going to cover over the number one because number one is quite an interesting number. It's got lots of properties, but doesn't quite fit lots of things either. So I'm going to ignore the number one, and lo and behold, what we find is a very interesting group of numbers. And this is what Arathenes found out. He's like, ah, oh, hold on a moment. If I look at the numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and so on, these numbers don't appear in any other times tables other than the one times table and their own times table. Or they only actually have two factors. Wow! And upwards of that came an interesting rule. All right? And that's what I'm going to put towards you now. That a prime number only has two factors. All right? Now, another way of thinking about that is it is only divisible by one in itself. Mm, but then that sort of makes you question the number one because the number one is divisible by one in itself. But what we try to say is that, or what we're suggesting, is that a prime number has only two factors. That's one and itself, right? So if we look at the number three, what are the numbers that go into number three? They are only one and three. Look at the number four. What goes into the number four? Numbers one, two, and four. Now this is a dip. This is a lesson that deals with factors, which we'll come back to shortly, but it's important to now know that the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7. Now I wonder how many of you wanted me to write 9 there, but remember 9 is in the 3 times table, so it's not. 11, 13, 
17, 19, 23, and they go on. My advice to you or anybody watching this video is try and remember these prime numbers written on the board at the moment. It's incredibly important and it's a number series that becomes more and more used as we go through secondary school. Right? So, what's the learning for today? A prime number is a number that can only be divided by one in itself or, more importantly, has two factors. The number one is not prime and you really do need to remember that. It's a trick question because remember, maths is a big fat trick. Well, that's the end of this prime number. I look forward to seeing you next time.